All right. The president toasting the United Nations, which is unusual. He started his remarks by saying the U.N. is an organization, a body with a lot of potential. Uh, he had just finished this morning uh, in a speech uh, deriding the, uh, the United Nations. David Rothkopf is still with me. He talked about a lot of potential. He talked about, he mentioned only North Korea uh, specifically. He said his tone is very different than it was from last year because we've made a lot of uh, progress. And to the point that you were just making, he singled out Nikki Haley and Mike Pompeo in the audience for the great job they're doing. So this is, this is the mystery of Donald Trump as president. A few hours ago, he was insulting the entire organization in the gathering, and now he's complimenting his, his, his uh, foreign secretary, his state, uh, state department uh, secretary and his um, U UN ambassador for the work that they've been doing, which is sort of not the same as the work he seems to want done. No, no, he, right. He goes from roasting the UN to toasting the UN. Yes, correct, and, literally. And, and in doing it, you know, you get to judge, which is the real Donald right. Trump. Well, it seems to me the real Donald Trump is the one that's roasting the UN. You know, I think he goes through the motions sometimes when he has to in terms of honoring the organization. But you see, you and I, it doesn't matter uh, almost what you and I think about it, which one we want. There's world leaders there who have to make decisions about their agreements with the United States, their trade negotiations with the United States, right. their political alliances, their military alliances. Right. And what, what have they seen? They saw the U.S. pull out of the Paris Accords, out of TPP. They see the U.S. dissembling NAFTA, attacking NATO. Everywhere there's an international international agreement, pulling out of the UN um, Human Rights Commission, stopping funding for the UN refugee programs in Palestine. Every move they make is actually anti-globalist, anti-international. And so, you know, what do they believe? Not, not, yeah. you know, not the toast, the roast. Now, he didn't mention Iran, and that's kind of interesting because uh, he's had a lot of negative things to say about Iran, as does John Bolton. Um, but he did say in an interview that he might want to talk to uh, Hassan Rouhani. He seems like a really good man. <laughs> so, again, same issue, roast or toast. What, what, right, what are you doing? He put out a tweet, and he said, he's, I'm sure he's a That's right. Fellow. It was a tweet. It was but a tweet. The, other thing he right. kept, the other thing he kept saying was, you know, they want to meet with me, except that Rouhani said, no, we don't want right. to meet with you. Right. And so this is, again, Trump putting up a good front on this kind of a thing and wanting to make it about him and about his magic powers. In this toast he just made, he talked talked about North Korea. Right. And he said things are much better. Well, one of the things that's much better is Trump's not saying the bad stuff that he said right. a year called ago. called him Rocket Man a year ago. And then, you know, he's collected a couple of smaller things and a little bit of progress, and he's playing that up. But remember, a year ago, the problem was North Korea's nuclear program. Now the evidence suggests North Korea is making more nuclear weapons, mm -hmm. and he's ignoring it. He's just completely downplaying the fact that the core issue, the nuclear threat from North Korea, is actually getting more serious. It's remarkable. Hey, MSNBC fans, thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Subscribe by clicking on that button down there and click on any of the videos here to watch the latest interviews and highlights. You can get more MSNBC for free every day with our newsletters. Just visit msnbc.com newsletters to sign up now.